Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are pulling like the tide And the match that drew a spark was a single Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and today I'm making a crop hot meal called Creamy Hamburger Potato Soup. And I think this is going to be a really great meal today for us because it's raining and stormy here in Georgia today. And so I like comfort food <laughs> on uh, days like this. And so um, I hope y'all are having an amazing day. And I hope that you're getting rain where you haven't had rain. <laughs> but we've been getting plenty down here. So anyway, these are the ingredients in uh, my recipe. Uh, hamburger meat, onion, uh, mixed vegetables. You can use your favorite mixed vegetables. This is one I'm using today. Uh, I have three cans of chicken broth I'm going to be using. I'm also using garlic. You can use fresh if you want to. And I'm uh, using basil. And uh, this right here is parsley. And right here it's uh, Velveeta uh, cheese. And then I'm going to be using these um, russet potatoes. I'm going to be using about six cups. And uh, russet potatoes will break down a lot um, easier in uh, a crock pot. And so that's the reason I'm using russet today. Because I want it, our uh, soup to have a little bit of a thickness to it. And also to thicken it up at the end, I'm going to be using... Uh, a little bit of cornstarch and about a cup and a half of milk. So uh, let me get over here to my frying pan and uh, uh, brown my hamburger meat and cut up my onion. hamburger mesher over here but I don't want my hamburger meat to be real fine. This is a pound and a half of ground beef that I'm uh, going to brown and when it cooks just a little bit I'm going to add one onion in. Add my onion in now.
I'm just going to cut my hand of the meat until all the pink uh, is out of it and also the onions are translucent. some garlic well this is really smelling good now in big chunks because it looks better in the soup. Alright, I have uh, my uh, brandy uh, brand now and it's really smelling good with these garlic and onions in here. So I'm going to drain it and then start putting the rest of my ingredients in my crock pot. Alright everyone, my uh, hamburger meat and uh, onions and garlic have uh, already cooked. Get all those onions out. Okay. So now I'm going to put in my potatoes and this is six cups. fill my crock pot up. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to add in my next vegetables. And now I'm putting in my chicken broth. Smells really good. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a little stir. I'm giving it a stir and the colors in here look really good okay so now I'm going to be putting in my uh, basil and this uh, recipe will be in the description below okay and now I'm putting in my parsley all right I have my soup stirred up good and all my seasonings in it 
And so I'm going to cook this for about six to eight hours on low. And when I come back, I'll do the next step. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, back now, and my uh, crock pot meal has been cooking for uh, five hours on high. And so now I'm going to do something to make it get a little thicker. I'm putting my cornstarch in here, and this is two tablespoons. Let me get all of that in there. So I'm going to stir this up really good. Okay. Now I'm going to pour it in my crock pot. And give it a good stir. Oh, it smells really amazing. <laughs> Seeing all those potatoes. Look at that <laughs> goodness. Okay. So now then I'm going to put in uh, my Velveeta cheese and this will make it creamy. And this will be ready to eat as soon as this cheese gets melted in here. And as hot as this soup is, I don't think it'll take long. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> okay, my uh, Velveeta cheese has melted in my soup now, and it's good and creamy. And it's just got so much good color in it. I can't wait to get a bowl of this. <laughs> Look at those potatoes. Mm. My soup is uh, in my bowl now and it's really, really hot. And over here I made some uh, cornbread muffins. Uh, it's Mexican cornbread. and. Uh, that's going to go really good with this too. So let me see if I'm brave enough to try this <laughs> right now because it's so hot. That is really good. It's got a lot of good flavor to it. Mm. Yes, this is a really good soup. <laughs> so, uh, I think if y'all try this recipe, y'all really going to enjoy it. Because it is delicious. And it's a uh, gloomy day here today in Georgia. It's been raining all day. So to me it's soup weather even though it is summertime. And I'm going to eat one of these good cornbread muffins with it and I'm ready for it. <laughs> so y'all have a good day and do what you love and love what you do and I'll see you on the next video. Bye! You say take me on a treasure hunt When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see